During my high school days, I talked to my father and I asked him, how is it to be a soldier and how was the war before? He told me plenty of stories and uh, years later, as a gratitude to my father, I brought my father and my uncle here in this spot and upon arrival here, they were teary-eyed and they remember how they fought in this battle in the Taan. Maging magiti sa laban ng buhay. Maging magiting kaya mong biliin ang kabayanihan araw-araw sa isip, salita at gawa. Tayo ay maging magiti. This museum was constructed sometime in 1974. Uh, the shrine was established to commemorate the bravery and sacrifices of our World War II veterans. po ay isang uh, diary ng Father Po during the Japanese invasion on uh, 8 December 1941. So when uh, uh, General MacArthur discovered na hindi dumaan sa southern part or Batangas ang uh, Japanese troops, he immediately called for the War Plan Orange. The War Plan Orange was the defense of Bataan. But because Bataan was really a small area, no? talagang nahirapan ang, uh, ang Pil American troops. On April 9, 1942, Major General Edward P. King Jr., who was the commanding officer of the Luzon forces, was forced to surrender his troops in Bataan. After the surrender, uh, the troops were forced to walk approximately 65 miles away to the prison camp at Camp O'Donnell. So there was a total approximately 75,000 troops consisting of 63,000 Filipinos and 12,000 Americans surrendered. So approximately between five to 10,000 Filipinos and between 250 to 650 Americans died during the march. However, upon reaching Camp O'Donnell, 20,000 Filipinos and about 1,600 Americans died. That is why the march is called the Bataan Death March. My father, Eduardo Lagundi Paziwagan, was a private in the Philippine Army during the World War II and a survivor of the Bataan Death March. During the Death March of um, April 10, 1942, my father marched 102 kilometers starting from Mariveles to San Fernando. Along the road, there were random killings and beatings of soldiers. They had no food, they had no water, and they walked for almost eight days and they, they were infected with diseases like dysentery, beriberi, and all kinds of sicknesses. So my father endured this um, uh, march and my uncle, who is also a um, veteran soldier, who joined also the, the death march, was able to escape. Even though in the past, the Bataan Death March was often um, portrayed as the largest single surrender in U.S. military history. Nowadays, um, we know the significance of the Bataan Death March in that it delayed the timetable, it delayed the 50-day timetable of the Imperial Japanese Army 
by fighting in Bataan for 99 days despite suffering from massive disease, starvation, and fighting without any air support. Even if we, even if we lost no, uh, the battle, uh, marami pong lessons ang natutunan natin dito sa Battle of Bataan. The first one is, uh, of course, uh, courage uh, in defending our motherland. That's the duty of every uh, Filipino citizen uh, to defend our country. Our soldiers um, fought valiantly uh, despite adversity. We have to pass on the legacy to let the next generation know of what our ancestors did to, to uh, safeguard, to keep the freedom that we are enjoying today. They never gave up. They fought even on hard times. Even in, in sicknesses, they were there to fight with all their strength and might for their country. Maging magiting, maging disiplinado. Maging magiting, magmahal sa sariling bayan. Maging magiting, huwag sumoko. Maging magiting, maging matatag sa anuman pagsubok sa ating buhay. Maging magiting Sa laban ng buhay Maging magiting Kaya mong piliin ang kabayanihan araw-araw Sa isip, salita at gawa Tayo ay maging magiting